Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat. It is 22 degrees outside and I'm going to Staten Island, so this better be worth it. We're checking out a new vegan bodega called Vodega. Now, before you get confused, let me give a few disclaimers. Number one, this is the second vegan establishment in New York City called Vodega. The first one was a sandwich pop-up shop that turned into a little cafe, kind of. I haven't been to their like physical location, but I did try their sandwiches when they were a pop-up shop. Now, this second Vodega is an actual bodega that's vegan. I wish there was a difference in names. I wish they both didn't have the same name. However, I'm excited to see a Vodega that's a bodega. While we're talking about Vodega bodegas, do you remember when that really gentrified, what was it called? I was so pissed off when that restaurant opened up. There was this like, I don't remember, B B Bon Burry, oh my God. Oh my God, okay, so I don't know if it still exists, but a year ago, two years ago, I don't remember, this place called Bonbury opened up and they called themselves the first vegan bodega. And they sold like $22 salads and extra virgin truffle olive oil. And I was like, bodegas are made to bring accessible food to low income areas. So seeing like such a fancy pants place call itself a vegan bodega just rub me the wrong way. Like, I don't know. I never went to that location for that specific reason. So, so I hope that clarification actually clarified and did not confuse. That being said, I'm about to head to Staten Island and pay a $20 toll, $20 toll to get some vegan food. So drop a like for the $20 toll. I'll appreciate it. Starting route to Vodka Deli and Grocery. <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> okay, heading to Vodka Deli and Grocery. I will see you there. For everybody who doesn't live in New York City, here is the glorious bridge that everybody pays $20 for. Well, I take it back, not everybody. If you live in uh, Staten Island, you get a discount. I don't know what that discount is. I've never lived in Staten Island, but um, whenever I, I drive outside of New York and I encounter tolls that are like 25 cents, I get so happy. Like tolls should be a minor inconvenience. They shouldn't be the reason why you might not be able to go somewhere. Like if a toll was $5 or $3, like that's for most people an inconvenience, but $20, that's half of some people's grocery budget. The destination is on your left, Vodka Deli uh -uh. and Grocery. Vodka Deli. Arrive. Now, I know I was complaining about Staten Island a minute ago. Let's switch to happy things. Number one, so much parking. I love Staten Island for the parking. Like, so much parking. Do I have to park on a hill and put my parking brake on? Yes, but. The second amazing thing is, um, before coming over here, I was trying to find the hours for Bodega, and I was like, they don't have their hours on their Instagram, they don't have their hours on their website, they don't have their hours on Google, and then I realized they're 24-7. <laughs> I mean, I've been wanting a 24-7 vegan place for ages. It's a little too far to be like, you know, a go-to for me, but I'm still so happy. All right, all right, we're about to head on over and check the place out for ourselves. It's really windy. Let's get this party started. Let's get a good look at the outside. Beautiful. Starting in the back, Vodega had all of the staples, cleaning supplies, flour, toilet paper, for some reason applesauce, like every Vodega will have applesauce. Then a little accidentally vegan cereal section, some snacks and nutritional yeast in these like supplement looking bottles, some milks, butters, sour cream, yogurts, vegan eggs, and obviously drinks. They even had a section for candy. The fridge section had some cheeses and salads, and then they had a grill where all your food is made. Of course, I had to record the Bustello because that is the key to my heart. We got a lot of goods. We got too many goods. I am not making a profit on this video. <laughs> now, when they say support your local restaurant, I really do take that shit seriously. Um, I got this. is 40 something dollars worth of food. Okay, so over here we have a plate. Somehow, I'm just most excited for this. Um, we got rice and beans, mac and cheese, and loaded uh, dirty mashed potatoes. 
Now, the mac and cheese is very interesting because it is soy-free, gluten-free, and nut-free. Obviously, like, dairy-free and vegan. Um, so that's gonna be really cool. I got three cookies. This is a little Reuben on white bread. And then I got a meatball parm. And this is a bacon, egg, and cheese on an English muffin. Now, while this might not be, like, the most aesthetic layout I've ever done, uh, the real test is the flavor, so let's get that started. While I was in there, I got the chance to talk to the owner. His name is Tariq. He founded the place as a kind of way to bring plant-based eating, like, down to earth, make it a lot more affordable, make it a lot more, um, what's the right word? Accessible! That's the word I'm looking for. Making plant-based food more accessible. I love that shit. Um, I support all of that shit. But I, you know what else I support? Eating. We are about to start doing that. I'm gonna start with the mac and cheese, you know? You gotta start with mac and cheese. You gotta try mac and cheese first because you have to try it while it's still warm. It's a little bit like tangier than I expected. A little bit lemony. But it's really good. Gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free. It's really creamy. I would say, though, it's a little bit different than, like, typical mac and cheese taste. It has a lot more seasonings in it. Garlicky, peppery, lemony. Like, you know lemon pepper chicken? It's like lemon pepper mac and cheese. I'm down, though. There's also mashed potatoes in here. Really good mashed potatoes. And then rice and beans. This is a solid plate. This is a solid plate. So good. Now, I'm more of a bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll kind of person. And I forgot to say on a roll when I ordered this. So it came on an English muffin. That was kind of my fault. But here we have bacon, egg, and cheese on an English muffin. They use just egg. I forgot what kind of bacon and by life cheese. See, the bacon, egg, and cheese is good. The bread is not my thing, bro. I think it's gluten-free bread or something. This bacon, though, is really good. I don't know what kind of bacon this is. Next up, we have a typical white bread pastrami. I think they called it a vastrami. Got some cheese in there. I asked for some mustard. Mm-hmm. You know what I just realized? I could have had my little table tray out for this. Oopsies. As a New Yorker, it could use a thicker layer of pastrami, but in terms of flavor, pretty good. Next up, we have a meatball sub. Now what I wanted was a chicken parm. If y'all get a chicken parm, I'll come back. You know what I miss, actually? Okay, I miss chicken parm sandwiches, but I also miss, like, chicken, lettuce, tomato, mayo on a roll. Like, and it has to be, like, the shredded lettuce and, like, a thick slather of mayo. I don't know how many of you guys got chicken, lettuce, tomato, mayo on a roll, but that was my childhood. I still haven't had one, like, being vegan. Got a little meatball at the end, so that's where I'm gonna take my bite. This is the best sandwich so far. This is the best one. They are not stingy with the meat. Mm-hmm. I may be wrong, but I think this is a guardian meatball. I like guardian meatballs. Look at the gooey cheese corner. Yup. This is it, bro. I am so happy I got this. <clears throat> now for dessert. Okay, so they had soft serve ice cream, which I didn't get because it's freezing outside. But just so you know, if you're watching this in the summer, you can check out their soft serve ice cream. I think this is an oatmeal raisin cookie. That's some good stuff. Oatmeal raisin? Favorite cookie. That's how it's done. I might be wrong, but I think this is gluten-free chocolate chip. Because I see little tiny chocolate chips at the bottom. Maybe it's oatmeal chocolate chip because it has, I don't know, an oatmeal-y texture. Is this oatmeal chocolate chip? 
It tastes different from a regular chocolate chip. It's still good though. Maybe it's gluten free. I need to start paying attention more when I get food. I walk in and I'm just like, ooh, can I have that and that and that and that? Oh, and what's popular? Okay, give me one of those too. Update. <clears throat> I ate that whole meatball sub and I have regrets. Not regrets about the sub. The sub was delicious. Regrets that that was too much food. Too much. Oh God, people are coming in there looking at me. I'll tell you one thing about Staten Island. Staten Island is a lot more tight knit. So if there's a random person, you know, recording a YouTube video in her car right outside your house, that's weird. If I was in Manhattan, like no one gives a shit who's outside their house, like in their car filming. But in Staten Island, they're just like, what is this weirdo doing? So it's a little more awkward, just a little bit. All right, so wrapping up. Okay, so you guys already know which sandwich I'm gonna recommend. The meatball sub was the best. There's so much cheese and meatball on there. I'm about to explode. Um, so good. Next up was the plate. I really liked the mac and cheese. It was super unique and the mashed potatoes were good and it was just like a nice, big, warm, comforting plate. The cookies were delicious. I liked the Reuben, but the bacon, egg, and cheese, I would get it on different bread. Yeah, that's it. I know that Staten Island doesn't have a ton of options, especially like quick grab and go options. So I really like the fact that a vegan deli opened up here. Because it's kind of far from me, I probably wouldn't visit, visit often. But if you're nearby, then swing by, pick something up, and have a try. That is all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, up on my Instagram right here. I'm about to turn that meatball sub into a good leg day. Like if you like. Wait, I already said that. That is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, and LT. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.